This is the story of the journey I've taken to creating art to wear. This coat had a stain on it, so I got it and felt very confident that I could cover the stain with these permanent pens. And every time I wore it, people, where'd you get that? And I realized that um, you can do beautiful things and save clothes that have stains on them and give yourself the creative fun and be frugal and fabulous in your fashion, make art to wear, one of a kind. And then I did this um, for the same reason. There were some oil stains on it with permanent pens and saved this beautiful outfit. This that had a little discoloration in it. So I used the permanent pens. I created this outfit in a half an hour. I had extra time before an exhibition and wore it at the exhibition. Then I did this beautiful dress that a friend left me that they thought of me when they saw it at a used store and I did warblers and wildflowers on it. This chrysan gold chrysanthemums on this rust robe. Art to wear, unique, one of a kind designer things. So you see all of these things have been made most of them very recently. Once you have a stencil, you can have it for the rest of your life. So it's a very fun, frugal way to save clothes that you wouldn't have been able to wear because of the stain or uh, just have fun creating. You can use the same stencil over and over again, not just on art to wear, unique one of a kind clothing, but on walls, on platters, so many uses, I don't wanna go through them. <laughs> it's endless, over and over. If you enjoy this video, please drop a like and let us know your comments. <laughs> what is that I'm supposed to say? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Okay, I got it. Just say that part, shh, not the first part. Shh, shh know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. So besides hand drawing onto clothing, we can use stencils, which is what we're gonna talk about today. And I've done many, 52 different articles of clothing. The fun, frugal, fabulous art form of stenciling. Four easy steps. Select a stencil, cut it, paint it. <laughs> the four simple steps of creating and using stencils. Step one, select a stencil or create your own stencil design. Purchase stencils, including mine, will be available. Step two, cut the stencil. You can cut it with a razor blade, an X-Acto knife, a hot knife, or a stencil cutting machine like I have invested in after making many stencils by hand. Now the machine, the Cricut cutter, does it for me. Step three, test. Once you have your stencil, you wanna test on the fabric or surface you're gonna be stenciling on. You wanna test your medium, the paint, ink, whatever you're using, to make sure that it doesn't spread under the stencil. It just goes right on to the surface. The stencil exposes where it's been cut out. That's the purpose of a stencil, so you wanna make sure your paint is not too wet. It is the right viscosity, the right thickness. Step four, paint the stencil. As you're painting it on, you want to hold it very still. You don't want to move it. And then when you take up the stencil, you want to do that very gingerly, very carefully, so it doesn't smear the paint and reveals your beautiful stencil. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when my next video comes out.